In the wake of the election, I think a call to inclusion is a reminder that we've been living in illusion. We've been thinking that most people were probably okay, and in fact, they weren't. And not only do we need to be more connected with one another, but we also need to be reminded of our accountability for the welfare of our neighbors and our friends. And if we don't know people on our street, we need to learn who they are in order to make sure that we're doing everything we can to ensure their safety and their well-being. So inclusion is everybody is part of my community. I belong to everybody. I am responsible and accountable to everyone around me for their safety and their well-being. So in the wake of the election, what's grounding me is the work that I am already doing, and I'm just relying on that work and trying to be steady in it. I'm a co-leader of the Interfaith Action Group with the Portland chapter of Showing Up for Racial Justice. We meet the second Thursday at Bridgeport United Church of Christ and Sheer Tikva Congregation, 76th and Gleason. That's work that we've been doing now for two years. It's an opportunity for us to gather together as leaders within the, our faith communities to share resources and support one another. So when I feel afraid and freaked out because I'm queer and I'm a mom of a four-year-old, I remember that those people have my back and that I have a place to go. The work is where I go. The action is where I go. Because when I show up for racial justice, then I don't feel ashamed. And I know that everything I do with my body on the street, every prayer that I say, every moment when I am just holding breath and space for peace, it all matters. No, we, we tell our kids that um, it's, this is a really uncertain time and it's really scary, but you know what? You do not have to be afraid. And in fact, you can be really brave because you know what to do. You know what to do. You already know it. You've already learned it. You know about standing up for somebody if they're feeling left out or if someone is hurting them, then you get right in there and you say, no, that's not okay. We love one another. We take care of each other. So you already know that. You can do that. And the grown-ups that are around you, they are going to help you and be helpers. And we are going to figure it out together. But you know what to do and you can be brave.